Oh my god, I love your apartment! Can we get a tour? I think it's been two years. <laughs> yeah, of course, I would love to. So, welcome into my apartment. Right as you walk into the door, you enter into the kitchen. So, I had to build this little island as also sort of a greeting area here, so there's tons of storage in it. I decided to welcome people in with my favorite flower, which is some white peonies. Everything in my kitchen, I like to have a lot of vintage inspiration. I have a whole bunch of amazing cookbooks here that I've just been like collecting for years. I definitely have done a lot of DIY projects in here as well. It was kind of a Tuscan theme when I moved in, which is not my vibe. So. I have tons of cute little like hangings over here, postcards, napkins, and all sorts of just like personalized stuff. I have my very beloved white Nespresso machine that I use all the time because coffee in Manhattan can be expensive to get every single day. Now coming over from my kitchen into the rest of the apartment here, we open up into this big room which is my living room, my dining room, and my home office. So starting right here, we have this little breakfast nook that I'm just kind of using as a storage area right now. And I have this amazing dining room table, which opens up to be a lot bigger. So if I want to entertain, we can like open it up into a long oval. I have these lovely like French country chairs. Of course, a lot more flowers. I absolutely love to decorate with flowers. I have this really cool inset cove here with this little window that when I first moved in this was the dining area and I loved it but I decided to put my desk here. I love this desk. I know that these um, handles are upside down. <laughs> I thought that it was a lot more convenient to be able to pull for me but these are a lot of like work papers. This is just where I have stuff for my brand um, but I love it. This was the first actual like renovation or decoration I actually set up in the apartment when I moved in. It's inspired by the staircase that's in the Ralph Lauren store here in Madison Ave, which is one of my favorite places to go. So there's lots of cool little like notes from, you know, brands I've worked with and things I've collected over the years from my fashion job that just mean a lot to me. I have a lot of fashion books here. So um, her head fell off. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> this is my um, bust, my little form that I can use for pinning things. And I have lots of designer things you'll see. There's lots of rolls of fabric hidden throughout my entire apartment and in my closets. But um, yeah, scissors, sewing machines down there, and my prized possession, my little Dior cup. I love to just collect cute little things. I have this super cozy chair. I knew if I was going to be working here a lot, whether it's on my laptop or sketching or sewing or reading, I needed a comfy chair. So moving on to my cozy little living room, we took the chandelier that came from my parents' house in my bedroom. So many people comment on this and love it, but it is not available anymore, I'm so sorry. Anything that you can still purchase, I will link in the description below for you guys, but I have my couch here, I have two couches, we've got my little coffee table here. I just try to keep it very minimal since it's, you know, not the biggest. I have a rocking chair. This and Also, this apartment has a good amount of storage closets, which is great, because I have a lot of stuff and I still never run out of space. Um, this is super cool, I have this column here. I've always kind of like not really known what to do with it, so I made it like this candle station. I have like all my lighters, my matches, I always collect them from places. This one's from um, Cafe Marley in Paris that I actually made Kenzie steal <laughs> for me, because I was too nervous to take them. Um, and yeah, I have this vintage telephone which is so chic. It doesn't work. I bought it for a photo shoot, never used it, and now it's just here. I have lots of um, cool playing cards. I don't play cards, none of my friends play cards, but they're cute. I even bought these uh, Tiffany ones. Uh, I'll teach you how to play cards. I've never played. Well, we'll, we'll play poker in okay. Hamptons. Yeah, oh my God, wait, that's such yeah. a good idea. Yeah. Okay. okay, perfect. It's having my birthday in the Hamptons next weekend. We'll play We'll play girly poker. Yes, with girly our poker. Tiffany cards, that's so cute. <laughs> um, and yeah, I have so many of these black frames you'll see around my apartment as well, and I literally get them from Target. They come with the matting in the frame, which is amazing. So that's one of my little secrets. You can get really great, nice looking frames from Target. So over here, I knew that when I got my own apartment, I wanted like a sort of built-in system, but I couldn't find an apartment with one, so I was like, I'll do it myself. I got these three shelves um, my mom had and just didn't want them anymore. So I bought this center console that would fit my TV, this is a frame TV, so usually I just have like a really nice picture of like art on here. And I've just filled it with so many of my book collections and magazine collections. And this is nowhere near even half the books. Most of them are still in my parents' house. Um, 
but I have a lot of special things in here. I have like birthday notes from friends. I have, you know, this candle is the Ralph Lauren candle. It's scented like the store and I bought this for my apartment. And yeah, there's lots of cool things in here. Lots of designer boxes from purchases and really cool things that are sentimental to me. I've got vintage hat boxes that have, you know, trinkets from my travels and it's a very personalized home. It's very homey. One of my favorite pieces in the apartment though is this little settee here. I completely <laughs> reupholstered it myself. So when I bought this, it was velvet navy blue. Then I have this little side table here. You can put your drinks on or whatever. This is also an antique. I've had this thing forever and I love it. Um, it's literally so pretty. Then we have this little entry area because my apartment enters right into the kitchen. I knew I wanted some sort of formal like entry space since I don't have any foyer. So I put a big mirror here so that you could just kind of check yourself while you're going out. And yeah, I got this. This is actually like a breakfast server tray. You're meant to like put plates and hang like hand towels and stuff in here. I got this at a really cool antique store here in the city actually, which is so crazy. I had to get this thing in an Uber and carry it up all four flights of stairs by myself, but it was worth it. So I've got a lot more books in here. I've got these really cool like stone hangings that I have no idea where to put them. So I just keep them here and I've got some pictures here. This is like a, one of my favorite pieces of art from the Met here in New York. So I framed it. I've got my Amber and Wheat candle, which fun fact about this candle, this Christian Dior candle is what they burn in the Plaza Athene in Paris. So if you want your apartment to smell like the Plaza Athene in Paris, this is what they burn and I'm obsessed. It smells so good. And now to go on into one of my favorite parts of the apartment um, is the second bedroom that I've turned into a walk-in closet. So you'll probably recognize this from a lot of my like get dressed with me TikToks and things like that um, because I just, I love it in here. So one of the first things that sold me on this apartment were these French doors. I absolutely love these glass doors. I think they're so fun. They don't provide privacy, but I don't have a roommate, so it's okay. I took advantage of not having a roommate and made this a walk-in closet. So. This is also one of the main things I get asked about in my apartment. These are actually china cabinets that I decided to turn into an organizational system and I'm really proud of it. I think they look great. I also did put my own custom knobs on them so they don't come with these knobs, but I knew I wanted something that would match my sort of antique feel in here. So I got these gold ones online and I just kind of fold everything. I have everything in here, shoes and bags over there, dresses on that side. I have so many sweater collections, even in the summer. I just have too many. Um, I have a little coat closet here. That's exactly what I use it for, is a coat closet. I have all my blazers and stuff in here. Tons of travel bags and like dust bags down there. And yeah, I have this little center console. I don't always have this here because sometimes it can be a tripping hazard, but I did want something to sort of you know, whether I used it for jewelry or just to sort of decorate in here, I got this little extra table and it comes in handy so much. So she kind of moves around the apartment, but my favorite place to have this table is right in the center here. And then over here, I've hung this mirror. I got just like this gold framed. This is not antique. It's just meant to look antique, full length mirror. Um, and I get dressed and take a lot of my outfit pictures in here as well. So I love it. I wish I could have got a little bit of a bigger one, but it does the job. Now, coming out of the closet, we'll take a look at the bedroom. So I've got double doors on my bedroom, which makes it feel so luxurious in here, but I tend to keep this one closed to give me more wall space. Um, but this is my bed. This is my bed. I wanted something, I kind of did inspire this by the Ritz Paris, one of the rooms. I took some inspiration and I love the luxury, just like cozy feel of having like all the curtains around it. So I got a high post frame, got all these curtains myself, and then I even did the whole top myself. I had no idea how to get a topper for this. And then my dad was like, what if you got one of those frilly edge bed skirts? And I was like, that is genius. So that's exactly what I did. And I pinned the corners together and it works. It, <laughs> it came together for me. We've got a little fun with these, with these bigger pillows, um, just to add a little pop of color, but I love it to be just like a little cloud in here, like a little angelic heaven when I go to sleep. And it's really comforting because these still slide and I can close them completely and make it like my little safe haven, which is really, really fun. Um, and then onto my side tables. So these side tables I've had for years. They're from West Elm. They're similar to the one that was in the living room, just they're a little bit more modern. I love these vintage lamps. I literally got these at a thrift store for like $4 and they match on each side. I love this uh, pleated just shade and all my cute little things on my bedside table. I've got a little framed picture here of Paris. I've got my 
clock that does not work because it is vintage. <laughs> and then I was just showing Kenzie this. This is brand new. It's from Venus. It's a little flower you can get, a little gift to yourself if you please. It smells amazing. It does. Um, and then I've got my English pear Jo Malone. I just use this on my hands at night. Then I have this, which was a free piece of furniture from my apartment. I have the sort of radiator systems because this is a really old pre-war building and they had these covers on it. But underneath where my dining table is, it wouldn't fit, so I took the cover off and I turned it into a bench. So I got these um, cushions off Amazon and they happen to be the exact same size, so it worked perfectly. I've got my little totem. It's actually a scarf, but I use it as a blanket. Um, I've got more pictures here. I love to just frame fashion ads. Um, I know a lot of people put pictures of their friends, their family. <laughs> Nope. And then I've also got this really cool folding. It's it's a room divider, um, but I just tend to use it for hanging stuff on or hiding more rolls of fabric behind. So I've got this gorgeous dress here. You've definitely seen on my Instagram before on this little Chanel hanger. I got this um, when I first moved to New York. It was like a nice big purchase of mine. Maybe I'm saving it for a special day. Maybe I'm just saving it for something fun. Don't make that face at me. <laughs> Over here, we have my vanity, my dresser. So I just kind of use this to organize, you know, pajamas, socks, the little things. Um, this mirror is also vintage. I've had this for years and years and years, um, and I love it. I put these two lamps on the side because I love the look of sconces. Somebody gave me the tip to put like battery, mm -hmm. like remote lights, and I just haven't done it yet. So hopefully in the future that will be coming soon. But I just kind of decorate with anything. This changes quite often. I've just got some fragrances here on a little dish right now. And then over <laughs> here I have this is actually a linen cabinet I got online and I use it for my makeup. You'll notice there's not a lot of makeup compared to normal in here um, from what you'd see online. I'm kind of prepping for something that I will talk about later. But yeah, so I just kind of have some essentials in here right now and I've just organized them. Little organizers. I've got all my like skin stuff up here, foundations, you know, all the essentials. But up here I have more of my fragrance collection, all my Jo Malone's like lined up right here. And we've got my two windows here, my main source of light. And then over here on this side of the bed, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but I love super cozy areas. I bought this cushion because I do love to be by the window with like fresh air and natural lighting. So I will be on my laptop or like read a lot and snack and stuff here. And I'll use this too as like a top. But right now I've just kind of used it as a catch all again for just like books and all kinds of stuff here. I am sentimental. See, you are. I am. You I do have love this us. folding frame. <laughs> All of my friends. This is from my Simone runway show on the side, and this is from my New Year's party, the first like genuine like event or party I threw at this apartment. Uh, this is what I was going to mention. That big box from Jo Malone. They gifted me this forever ago, and this is the best purchase I've ever done. Or not even purchase. They gifted it. The best product worth the money. I know Jo Malone can be pricey, but if you're going to buy something and invest in something, get this. I've had this, I'm going to say three years because it was before I moved in this th apartment and it still smells like smell these sticks. Smell them. What scent are they? This is, I think it's called Wildberry Blossom or something Pretty. like that, which wouldn't even typically be like my favorite scent, but it smells so yummy mm -hmm. they smell so good and for so long it's only just now dried yeah, it's out it's giant and i've had it for three years so definitely worth the investment don't think i can live without it now <laughs> and here's my other side table we've just got a little vase candle and got my little cozy corner here now we're gonna go ahead into my little teeny tiny bathroom i love it but there's not much <laughs> Kenzie's literally on my toilet right now to get this shot. Um, I have this teeny tiny little like long hallway of a bathroom. My bathtub and shower here. Um, I've got my beloved Victoria's Secret robe. It's the softest robe in the world. I've got a really great like three tier medicine cabinet, which is great for my skincare and my little sink here that also has storage underneath. My Jo Malone soap. Um, and that is my apartment. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love this apartment. I put a lot of love into it, which is also why I think I took so long making the apartment tour because I'm always updating it and always doing new stuff. I think it's so beautiful and I'm so happy here. Um, if you want to keep up with more apartment updates and changes and pictures of things, I have so much on my Instagram and on my TikTok, so make sure to follow me on my other social media below. And I guess that's it. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching. Mwah.